welcome to another video about all things tech but made simple. What we will talk about in this video are terms we typically hear or see when it comes to email filtering, security and protection, as well as cyber attacks. All these words have been used in the tutorial series about easy nodes anti-spam, hence, this will serve as a preparation for it. Let's get you all geared up. The Spam Titan Outlook add-in allows reporting of spam and ham messages to the Spam Titan appliance. These messages are then examined by its Bayesian filter to be trained to filter future spam messages containing these tokens. It integrates seamlessly into Outlook main toolbar and single mail viewer. Phishing is a type of online scam where criminals impersonate legitimate organizations via email, text message, advertisement, or other means in order to steal sensitive information. This is usually done by including a link that will appear to take you to the company's website to fill in your information. But the website is a clever fake and the information you provide goes straight to the crooks behind a scam. Ransomware is a malicious software that threatens to publish or blocks access to data or computer system, usually by encrypting it until the victim pays a ransom fee to the attacker. Spear phishing is a phishing method that targets specific individuals or groups within an organization. It is a potent variant of phishing, a malicious tactic which uses email, social media, instant messaging, and other platforms to get users to divulge personal information or perform actions that cause network compromise, data loss, or financial loss. Malware, short for malicious software, refers to any intrusive software developed by cyber criminals to steal data and damage or destroy computers and computer systems. Examples of common malware include viruses, worms, Trojan viruses, spyware, adware, and ransomware. An Advanced Persistent Threat, or APT, is a prolonged and targeted cyber attack in which an intruder gains access to a network and remains undetected for an extended period of time. APT attacks are initiated to steal data rather than to cause damage to the target organization's network. The goal of most APT attacks is to achieve and maintain ongoing access to the targeted network rather than to get in and out as quickly as possible. A Bayesian filter is an email spam filter that looks for certain characteristics in emails and uses them to calculate the probability of that email being spam. For every spam characteristic found, a Bayesian filter will increase the probability that the email is spam. If the filter eventually estimates that the email has a 99% or higher probability of being spam, into the spam folder it goes. An IP address is a number identifying of a computer or another device on the internet. It is similar to mailing address, which identifies where postal mail comes from and where it should be delivered. IP addresses uniquely identify the source and destination of data transmitted with the internet protocol. Two-factor authentication or 2FA is an extra step added to the login process such as a code sent to your phone or a fingerprint scan that helps verify your identity and prevent cyber criminals from accessing your private information. 2FA offers an extra level of security that cyber thieves can easily access because the criminal needs more than just your username and password credentials. A domain name refers to your website address. This is what users step in a browser search bar to directly access your website. A domain name is unique and cannot be shared between different sites. For example, foresightit.com.au. A subdomain is an additional part of your main domain name. Subdomains are created to organize and navigate to different sections of your website. You can create multiple subdomains or child domains on your main domain. For example, store.yourwebsite.com. In this example, store is a subdomain. Your website is a primary domain and .com is the top-level domain or TLD. You can use any text as your subdomain, but you want to make sure it's easy to type and remember. A false positive email message is a legitimate message that a spam blocker incorrectly identifies as spam. A false negative or missed spam email message is a spam message that a spam blocker does not correctly identify as spam. 
stands for Transport Layer Security. TLS is a data encryption technology that provides secure data transfers. It encrypts or scrambles all data sent from one system to another. Any third party that attempts to eavesdrop on the transfer will be unable to recognize the data. I hope these explanations made the terms clear. Thank you so much for watching this video. Reach us through any of these channels. See you next time!